right nana so let's start solving problem number 1 maximize z is equal to 3x1 plus 4x2 uh, subject to 2x1 plus 3x2 is less than or equals to 16 uh, where raw material is given in kg so that's the constraint for raw material and uh, 4x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equals to 16 you have something called laborer's constraint x1 x2 is greater than or equals to what zero okay chalo now this problem we will be solving as per two different methods one is we'll be solving as per yeah we'll be solving as per graphical method and we'll be solving it as per simplex method as well so we'll be solving both these i mean we'll be solving this particular problem as per both these methods okay chalo let's move on okay guys ready chalo let's uh, first of all start solving this as per graphical approach okay first we'll be going for which approach nana graphical approach now first to solve it as per graphical approach to draw a graph first we need to identify two points correct so step 1 follow the steps carefully identification of two points for each constraint okay identification of two points for each constraint okay let's start with the first constraint who is the first one 2x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 16 okay this is your first constraint so put x1 is equal to 0 then x2 will be equals to uh, 5.33 correct because we need to find points now only then we can draw a line in the graph correct therefore i need to put x1 is equal to 0 then what will happen to x2 nana 16 by 3 which will be 5.33 so what will be your point here 0 comma 5.33 correct then again put x2 is equal to 0 then x1 will be what 16 divided by 2 it will be 8 so then in that case x1 is 8 so 8 comma 0 correct so we have two points we'll plot this point and this point and then we'll have a line which represents this, this particular constraint is that clear chalo moving on to the second constraint 4x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 16 similarly put x1 is equal to 0 comma x2 will be 8 so therefore the point will be 0 comma 8 put x2 is equal to 0 then x1 will be what nana 4 therefore the point will be 4 comma 0 ho gaya chal so now we got the points we'll go for step 2 what is step 2 plotting the points drawing straight lines and uh, drawing the graph to put it simple so let's draw the graph If you look at the points, it's uh, from zero to eight. Zero is the minimum, eight is the maximum. Correct? Ah, keeping that in mind, let's draw the graph. Okay. Right, Nana. So I'll write two, two, two. I'll go. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. Since the maximum is eight, I'll go till ten. Okay. This is origin zero, two. Four, six, eight, ten. Okay, chalo. Let's go with the first point. What is the first point? Nana zero comma five point three three. So this is zero comma five point three three. Here you will get five. Five point three three means somewhere around here. Okay, that's the first point. Second point is eight comma zero. Eight comma zero means eight will be on x-axis. So this is eight comma zero, right? Nana. So let's draw the line. It may it may not be straight here. Okay, adjust. Chalo. So this is the first line, okay? हो गया, right? Okay. What's the next one we have got? So this represents the first constraint. What is the first constraint? Two x one plus three x two is is uh, less than or equals to sixteen. Correct? Ah. Right, Anna. That's your first constraint. Okay, now moving on to the second constraint. Similarly, we need to find out another two points. So, what are the other two points? We already have zero comma eight. So, zero comma eight comes over here. Okay, then four comma zero, four comma zero comes here. So, from here. Okay, forgive me. It is not a straight line. Okay, chalo. So, this will be the second one. Now, this represents what constraint here? Four x one. 
right now 4x1 plus uh, 2x2 is less than or equals to 16 now so both the constraints are less than less than means tell me one thing what is the area that will be satisfying both the con both the constraints both the constraints are less than or equals to correct therefore it will be towards the origin or away from the origin which means on the left hand side or on the right hand side if it is greater than or equals to it will be on the right side which is away from the origin if it is less than or equals to it will be on the left side which is towards the origin so this is the area which satisfies both the constraints correct what? This is the area which satisfies both the constraint. Both the 2x1 plus 3x2 is less than or equals to 16 and 4x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equals to 16. Because both are less than. Nah. So this comes, this line, this side, this line, this side. So this is the area which satisfies both the constraints. Correct? So now, how many points you have got in this area? One is this one, 0, 0. This is another extreme point, which is um, uh, here you are getting 5.33. Nah. So 0, 5.33 is this point. This point is the intersection of both the equations which we need to find and this point is 4 comma 0 out of these four one should be the answer out of these four one should be the answer is that clear I have taken all the extremes because the logic is very simple please understand suppose uh, when you take this point somewhere in the middle when compared to this point at the same level this will be better correct when compared to this point at the same level this will be better therefore always you need to take the extremes that is the logic is that clear you got it Chalo. Anyway, so I've taken the extreme points over here. One is 0, 0, 0, 5.33. This is 4, 0. And this point, I don't know. Because this is the intersection of what? Both the equations. So let's solve the equations to find out this particular point. So what are the equations, Nana? Let's solve it. 2x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 16. This is first equation. Okay. 4x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 16 this is second equation okay now now let's start solving so what we can do here you have 4 right now okay and here you have 2 so 2 you can multiply with 4 4 you can multiply with 2 correct so if that is the case then what happens 8x1 plus 12x2 is equal to 64 here it will be 8x1 plus 4x2 is equal to what nana 32 then what happens change the signs here plus is there so minus plus is there minus plus is there minus so this gets what cancelled okay 12x2 minus 4x2 will give you 8x2 64 minus 32 will give you 32 so x2 is equal to 32 by 8 it comes around 4 now substituting x2 is equal to 4 in uh, first equation okay what happens 2x1 plus 3 into x2 is 4 is equal to 16 so 2x1 is equal to 16 minus 12 which will be 2 sorry 16 minus 12 which will be 4 then x1 is equal to 2 therefore the point is x1 x2 which is 2 comma 4 is the new point so therefore this intersection intersection is what nana 2 comma 4 okay yeah now let's substitute them in the optimal solution so what is the objective function of the question nana what is the objective function you can check the objective function right so the objective function is nothing but 3x1 plus 4x2 you got to what maximize okay so let's go for optimal solution uh, so i'll go with points calculation profit it's a maximization problem obviously so first point is 0 comma 0 so 3x1 plus 4x2 3 into x1 is 0 plus 4 into x2 is 0 so the answer will be what 0 then 0 comma 5.33 is another point correct this point nana so this point is 0 comma 5.33 this point is 0 comma 0 this is 2 comma 4 this is 4 comma 0 i'll take all the extreme points okay here it's gonna be 3 into 0 plus uh, 4 into 5.33 it comes around 21.33 next 2 comma 4 here it's gonna be 3 into 2 plus 4 into 4 it will be 22 then 4 comma 0 it's gonna be 3 into 4 plus 4 into 0 it's gonna be 12 so this is our answer 
out of this because your objective function is maximization out of this whichever is higher will be your answer so this is your max profit which means you have to manufacture two units of x1 and four units of x2 is your answer that is your optimum level so you got the point so this is the most extreme thing now listen carefully i'll tell you the logics see all the points lying on the straight line here all the points lying on the straight line will satisfy equal to constraint of but if the constraint is less than or equal to then the feasible region lies below the straight line is that clear the shaded region in the graph satisfies both the constraints if you can see the graph so there exists only one point in the shaded region which gives us maximum profit and that point is referred as an optimal solution correct now extreme point theorem so why i choose this one this one this one and this one there's a theorem called extreme point theorem which states that optimum solution lies is one lies in one of the extreme points of the shaded region again i repeat extreme point theorem states that the optimum solution lies in one of the extreme points of the shaded region therefore the extreme points are identified as follows you've got 0 comma 0 0 comma 5.33 2 comma 4 and 4 comma 0 and uh, this 2 comma 4 which lies at the intersection of two lines can be found by solving both the equations which we have already done therefore finally we have substituted all the four uh, options in the objective function and we got the answer as 22 whichever is maximum will be our answer therefore finally the optimum solution is to produce two units of x and four units of y which is two units of a and four units of b giving a maximum profit of how much 22 right guys so with this we are done with this problem which method graphical method in the next video we'll solve the same problem as per simplex method thank you